stuff. What do you think about Lincoln Project? I, I think they're a bunch of charlatans who are making money. You really believe that? Yeah. Tell us how you really feel a little bit. But <laughs> like you hold it back a little bit. Even like look, Steve just, Schmidt, who look, was they McCain's campaign manager. He's at the head of the sure. tip of the spear. Sure. I mean, Steve has had a transformation. He worked for George Bush, too. He no longer is a Republican. He can't stand Republicans. He was responsible for Sarah Palin in many ways, and he's right. always lived to regret that. Um, so I think he's doing penance. Um Look, you know, their beliefs are genuine in that they can't stand Trump and they want to build something that fought Trump. But now they have built something to fight Republicans. But the organization itself was corrupt. It had terrible internal problems, personal problems, embarrassing problems. What, like what? Just financial? Are you serious? I want, I want to hear about it. Well, one of their founders had real serious issues with his personal behavior and his personal life. And the way he treated employees who were his subordinates. You don't know about about Conway. Who who are you talking? No, no. You don't know about this, Rick Wilson. Well, I'm not going to look. It's all public. I I really don't follow Lincoln Project for a living, but they've had a series of embarrassing issues and issues involving real financial problems in their own organization. Um, Look, I'm all for I'm all for groups being contrarian. And for Democrats who take on Democrats, Republicans who take on Republicans, it's part of our mix. I just don't like that one group. And so I bring this up. Okay, so maybe yeah. let me ask a different okay. question. What do you think about Liz Cheney? I like Liz ideologically for being a conservative. I have no problems with her vote on impeachment. That's what she believed in. That's what she did. I do have problems with her serving on the 9-11 Commission uh, as 9-11 Committee because Nancy Pelosi asked her to do it. As soon as Nancy Pelosi rejected Kevin McCarthy's Republican selections for the committee, no Republican should have joined that committee. You mean None. Are you saying 9-11? The January 6th committee? January 6th committee? 6th I'm sorry, committee. January 6th. Okay, gotcha. January 6th. Okay, sorry. gotcha, gotcha. Sorry. You said 9-11. Yeah, I'm sorry. The January 6th committee. Got it, got it. Um, so again, it, it, to me, it's principled. If you want to vote to impeach Donald Trump, vote to impeach Donald Trump. That's a principled position, and then deal with your constituents. But serving on that committee, Congress cannot work if Republicans can't appoint Republicans to committees and Democrats can't appoint Democrats. If all of it has to be done at the behest of the Speaker— then there is no opposition party. Everything is controlled by the speaker. She should not have let herself get put in that position. So she's fighting a personal vendetta against President Trump, which I understand, but I think she went too far. So the the reason why I brought up Lincoln Project is we saw how they went after Trump, the videos they make, and it's constant, no problem. Uh, And by the way, credit to them. I think they influenced the 2020 election a little bit. I think they had uh, some influence. I don't know what percentage. I don't know what number. They definitely had an influence. But they had influence on what they did. Okay, They, They were very good marketers, what they made, what they did. The part that's confusing to me is... They said they stood for conservative beliefs. Now they're going no, after they DeSantis. Don't. You know, did you see the the the? They go after all Republicans now. Yeah, they so are not conservative. Who's funding Lincoln Project, by the way? I don't know. Um, they were able to raise a tremendous amount of grassroots money, a tremendous amount of money from Democrats who viewed it as a bunch of Republicans, McCain people going after Trump. So Democrats like that contrarian play, and boy, were they well funded. Yeah, I'm trying to see if the the similar names are behind it. Lincoln Project raised a whopping uh, $39 million from July through September, uh, helping fuel anti-Trump and Blitz. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to know who's funding these guys. Is it is it? Uh, uh, there was a guy in Ohio, him and I would always debate, and he would say, but Patrick, you don't understand. I'm a Republican. But Patrick, you know, I'm like, listen, I'm an independent myself. I'm pro-capitalism. I'm fiscally conservative. I'm about leave me alone, freedom. I have some libertarian tendencies, some independent tendencies, and conser- uh, f- uh, fiscally, I'm what you would consider me a Republican fiscally because I want to be left alone uh, uh, economically. Let me do my part. I'll pay my taxes. I'll do my part. But, Pat, I'm a Republican. But, Pat, I'm a Republican. And he, that's how he conving- uh, convinced people to kind of flip. So one day I say, uh, Carl, y- you can fool a lot of people, but you can't fool me, man. Your strategy on how you're doing it, you're full of shit is what you're doing. I say, I understand the power of what you're doing because people are listening to you saying, well, let me tell you, as a Republican, I, I'm embarrassed of my party. I'm embarrassed of my party. It's a very, very good tactic mm-hmm. and strategy, yeah. okay? Because guess what CNN wants to put on all the time? Anybody that says, I'm a Republican and I'm embarrassed of my party. So you've right, got yeah. 
at, what's his name? Uh, Denzinger. Uh, uh, Adam Kinzinger. Adam Kinzinger. Yeah. And some of these guys are like, oh, I'm embarrassed. Anthony I'm Gonzalez. Embarrassed. All, Cheney, all of these Kinzinger. guys. All of these guys. Yeah. Joe Walsh, our friend. Uh, uh, yeah, we had Joe Walsh here. It was a very friendly uh, uh, <laughs> time that we had him on the podcast. But are they at this point like non, they're so irrelevant that no one's following them because they're still getting some traction on Twitter when I see them. Are they irrelevant? Are they not going to have any impact? Are they still effective? I think for those who are in the business who pay attention and know about the Lincoln Project's problems and issues, they're irrelevant. Um, but if you've got enough tens of millions of dollars and you can put advertisements on the air, people can watch, and that has influence. But I'll caution you. Our system is so 